decided to get back to doing this. I want to do predictions for the Black Clover chapters again. It was a little bit rougher. I know near the end of some of the chapters, you know, way back with the uh, the, the word devil going on about, you know, we were all in the end area of that arc. But now as we are, you know, more in the fresher kind of style of going into the Spade War, we don't really know a whole lot of what is to come other than it looks like it's going to be a bit brutal from Zeno, especially. I, I didn't even notice uh, at first, someone pointed out in my videos, that the dude hasn't even taken his hands out of his pockets. And he just crashed and thrashed William super easily from the looks of it. I mean, again, it doesn't look like he released any of his uh, devil powers. And it doesn't even... He didn't even take his hands out of his pockets. He used the same base spell like the whole time. But I want to talk about it, essentially just, you know, really quick where I think the next chapter is going to go. So as we left off, you know, you know, and showed up, he sees William just pretty much almost crucified in bone, all just beaten up by Zeno. And Zeno's just more like, how are you still alive? You know, he's probably gonna be like, man, I lost a couple dark disciples. That sucks. I have to guess I'll have to you know, go pick some more when I get home. Probably not going to be really convenient to him or inconvenience to him. Probably like a horde of dark disciples, uh, level characters waiting for him to get picked out. You know that the spade sees their people more as units in a you know a military kind of mindset rather than people so you know maybe maybe he'll be that way maybe he'll be different who knows regardless of which i'm hoping to see some aspect of like him putting more effort out i legitimately i'm hoping the next chapter is just the members of the golden dawn left all attacking him Zeno making it seem almost like he's pressed but then he's just like you guys are really annoying. He just takes one hand out of his pocket, and maybe he's got like a maybe he's got like almost like devil-like hands. Maybe each of the the dark tribe will have something morphed about them. I mean, he could easily just have his hands in his pockets. Maybe there's nothing special about his hands. I, I saw some people were like, maybe he traded the devil, like he traded Magicula, his hands for power. Which funny. I and mean, like, what if he doesn't even have hands? He, he just is an armless guy. He does are prosthetics or something goofy like that. But I think it's going to be finally when he decides to take his hands out of his pocket. It's, uh, it actually reminds me more of like, uh, a, if, you know, the, the, the Mark Gear fight from Fairy Tale, where Mark Gear was beating everybody with one hand, and then he's like, all right, all right, you guys are starting to annoy me. Set down the END book and then start using both hands to fight and just started, you know, mauling people. Was well, He's still in his base form, and I can see that from Zeno. Absolutely just, okay. You guys are bugging me. Takes out one hand. They're like, "What's? What, what does this matter?" He's got one hand out, and then maybe you see like he uses a spell and has like a giant skeletal arm, or maybe like he can like lift his hand up and then create just a horde of skeletons just everywhere, and they get overwhelmed. Something like that, because really, like what we've seen so far, he's only used the one spell. He's only used a single spell and hasn't gotten uh, anything serious. And I imagine like on top of just really badass like spike tendrils of bone he's probably got you know just general skeletal stuff like skeletal armies maybe even just a giant skeleton but uh, possibly like a bunch of cool skull stuff imagine if he's got something like this grave lord nito from dark souls that would be absolutely cool yet horrifying or something like uh baragon from bleach maybe not the age thing but just the design of this badass super skeleton creature and I don't see, I don't see Yuno know, and Co doing anything, anything at all. I don't see there really being anything that will bother Zeno. I, in my, not, not the last discussion, the, the, the review before the most previous chapter, where I was like, if he beats the Dark Disciples, like if they beat both of them somehow, and you know, they, you know, had to go use the strongest spell and Spirit Dive to beat him, and then Klaus, you know, and uh, the Twi all teamed up in, in order to defeat the other Dark Disciples. Like, okay, yeah. It makes sense how they beat him, and then, but I was at the same time like, but I don't think for a second they're going to beat Zeno. I don't think any of them are going to beat Zeno at the moment, and I don't think any of them are going to really do anything to him now. I don't even think you know like a bunch more captains showing up is really going to do anything if he's able just to manhandle William with his base spell and not even taking his hands out of his pockets. So, yeah, like more captains show up, so damn what? I mean, the only person, the only character I could see. It, that would be possibly a threat to him. Maybe not a threat. Someone that could annoy him, I would say. I don't think anyone in the Clover right now is like somebody to be like, he's capable of defeating me. There's maybe someone capable of really adding to like a fire. Like, you know, you had multiple characters fighting him, multiple captains. Is if 
Boy Goleon, if he has Spirit Dive, if he shows up with Spirit Dive, I would be able to believe that he could maybe not defeat Zeno. I think he'd be able to, to push him a little bit to get maybe serious. But other than that, other than that, I can I can just see him running through all the other characters that are you know still present. I don't believe he's gonna. I, I don't think he's gonna recognize you know you know as a member of the original the, the Grinbellier family, just because he like he'll want to kill him. I feel if he does recognize him, there has to be a reason why he doesn't want to kill him. Other than unless there's like oh uh, you know have fun living out here. You know we're gonna kill you anyway. There has to be something to him if he ends up like realizing it and then not wanting to do it. Maybe there was a. Uh, some like thing he owed like a be like oh yeah i promised your, your father i wouldn't be the one to kill you or something i can have appreciation to you know the older king or something like that because otherwise it'd be like why aren't you going to kill this guy who's you know the the royal heir to the throne that you guys took but other than that comment below tell me what your thoughts are about this whole prediction tell me what your thoughts are about the upcoming chapter would you love to see something like this grave lord nito like skeleton a skeletal monstrosity made of other skeletons with a giant blade made of bone that would be so fantastic. But other than that, comment below. Thumbs up the video from the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But I appreciate everybody's already subscribed. I thank you all for listening. Bye.